Welcome to this Euro channel video on penile girth enhancement with hyaluronic acid. How much increase in girth can you expect? How long does it last? How is it done? And additionally, I am going to explain the differences in hyaluronic fillers. They are not the same. I bet you didn't know that. My name is Stefan Bundrock and I'm a board certified urologist and sexologist. So, what is hyaluronic acid and why is it a good filler? Hyaluronic acid is the oil in the machinery of your body. So it's all natural, something your body produces constantly. High concentrations can be found in the joints, as it aids in smoother joint movement. It is present in the skin, helps keep your eyes hydrated and so on. This is why hyaluronic acid can be found in a lot of skincare products and eye drops. This means that it can be used with very few side effects as a filler for penile girth augmentation. I am going to inform you about the risks in a minute. There are a few and also related to contamination. But let's look at the benefits first. According to research, you can expect an increase in penile girth of 1.4 to 3.8 centimeters. This equals 0.6 to 1.5 inches. Patient satisfaction is very high and ranges between 78 to 100 percent. The material will break down so that you will need another procedure after 18 months at the latest. It depends on how pronounced the effect is in your individual case and on the crosslinks in the product you received. What's that? Crosslinks. Hyaluronic acid filler is produced by mixing hyaluronic acid powder with a liquid stabilizer to prevent the filler from degradation. Commonly BDDE is used for that. That's 1,4-butane-diyl-diglycidyl ether. BDDE is the so-called crosslinker because it is responsible for the complexity of the resulting crosslinks. During the manufacturing process, you can start to play with your crosslinks by tweaking the controls a bit. You can vary the amount of added crosslinker, the temperature, the washing processes, and so on. The more the filler is crosslinked, the more stable it is and the longer the effect will last. A higher degree of crosslinking will also make the filler thicker and give it more volume. By the way, did you know that you can become a member of Eurochannel? I just started memberships. Check out the perks and become a member today to support my work. Your membership helps to maintain the high quality of my content. Many hours of preparation go into each of my videos to bring you the most up-to-date scientific knowledge possible. If more crosslinks give you more bulk, why not use them all of the time? I mean, more bulk is the reason why this procedure is done in the first place, right? The problem is that more crosslinks come at a price. It may trigger a foreign body reaction in the penis. This means swelling, discomfort and lump formation, which are called granuloma. Hypersensitivity may become a problem. Another issue is that hyaluronic acid can act as a pro-inflammatory agent when it breaks down over time. As such, it may trigger an inflammatory response of the entire body. So one has to carefully balance effects against side effects. There have been reports about inflammation and hypersensitivity unrelated to the procedure itself. Coming down with the flu, antibiotics, painkillers and maybe also the vaccination against COVID may initiate a chain of events in the body leading to problems with the filler. Another problem with hyaluronic fillers is contamination. A very recent analysis of several commercially available HA fillers found particles of dust, rubber, stainless steel, aluminum, chromium, glass, silicon and more within the products tested. Contaminants like that can trigger inflammatory immune reactions. However, hyaluronic acid injections into the penis gain more and more in popularity. I spent a couple of hours on the internet researching for this video. It seems to me that hyaluronic acid has become the number one procedure for girth enhancement. It is relatively safe, despite the possible side effects I just named. It can be done quickly and 
if you don't like the cosmetic result, it'll disappear with time. In cases of more severe complications, medical interventions may be necessary. I will cover this topic in a different video. Where and how is the injection done? It is a procedure under local anesthesia. At the 2 o'clock and 10 o'clock positions, a thick needle is used to place the filler in between the Bucks fascia and the Dartos fascia. Even distribution is crucial for the overall cosmetic effect. I try to imitate the procedure with a carrot and a condom. If you are interested, here's the link. Have fun. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.